Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. Let's look at the settings real quick for this image. I was shooting natural light. I was using the Sony a7 III for this shoot. And as you can see my settings right there, um, 320 for the shutter, f1.8 and ISO 100. So let's get right to the editing quickly. What I'm going to do is to just remove all the pimples from the model's skin. I already cropped the image to a four to five ratio. So let me just do a duplicate real quick. And then I'm just going to use the patch tool right there. And I'm going to remove all the blemishes from the skin. Uh, we have a lot of small pimples uh, on her skin. She still have really nice skin. The makeup did a good, the makeup artist did a great job. And yeah, so we're just going to remove all these small little pimples. These small things are what you want to remove from your image. That's the process that you do for, you know, a perfect image. So if you do not remove all the pimples from the skin, you cannot retouch the image properly. So it's going to take a little time right now to um, remove all these pimples. Um, yeah, so let me just remove all of these. And it's best to scroll the image in and out at times just to ensure that you do not miss anything. Um, so let me just zoom this in real quick or get rid of these. I'm actually using a graphic tablet. Um, it's called XP Pen. You can check the link in the description for the graphic tablet I'm using. Everything that I actually own and use is actually in the uh, description. So you can check that out. Also guys, I've started a new YouTube channel for weddings. So all my wedding uh, videos is going to be uploaded to that uh, YouTube channel. So please follow that YouTube channel, subscribe to it. I'm going to remove this right here and this right here as well. All right. So subscribe to that YouTube channel. It's Weddings by Andre Designs. And you know, I have a personal page as well. I'll be uploading uh, a new PC built that I'll be building soon. So I won't have any problems um, editing. Um, anymore so normally when I am not using frequent separation what I use is a patch tool to remove the pimples from the skin it works better for me but when I'm using frequent separation I always use the clone stamp tool so yeah so still going through can't believe I'm taking about two minutes <laughs> to remove the um, pimples from the skin all right getting somewhere it's getting somewhere so I have three YouTube channels now guys so you just if you want to see anything that I'm coming with I'm gonna be doing some behind the scenes as well for um, the wedding so you just have to follow that wedding page to see those um, behind the scenes as well all right so let me just go over here so all I'm doing is just removing the pimples as you can see from the model skin Gonna remove this blemish here. Let's pull this down. I'm just trying to find a really um, nice section to select. All right, that works. Let me see. Right here, right there, and there. All right, so that looks good. I'm in three minutes. Just removing the pimples. I want. I tell. I always tell people that hey, it takes time to retouch an image, so don't rush it. Right now I'm rushing as you can see, but you should not rush it. You should take your time and just remove all the pimples from the skin. I mean, if this is what you're getting paid for, just sit and do the job properly. Hey guys, guess what? I'll be also building a new um, table, a desk for my um, for my new PC build as well. I should be doing a YouTube video for that as well. Because what I want is to, I want to have a standing desk. And um, yeah, so I've, I've been sitting like for, like for, hours working and i think sometimes i need to stand or maybe walk away having a standing desk i'll be able to do that so i'm removing the cracks from the lips real quick all those lines as well i could remove them but now nah, it's gonna leave it i want it to look as, nat as natural as possible all right, i think i need to zoom up here remove this remove that and that and that and if the model has any wart on her face try not to remove it you want to keep it natural as possible so yep all right so i think i'm almost through with removing all the pimples i think that looks good nothing else is there maybe this 
Alright. Ah, that looks good. Alright, so I think I'm going to do frequency separation now, but let me come down here first and remove some of these. That looks good, good. Alright, so frequency separation right now. You can download the frequency separation action by using the link in my description. I'm going to use a radius 6.4. All right, and I'm going to go down to the low frequency layer and then uh, I'm going to select the patch tool. Sorry, not the patch tool, the um, mixer brush. Mixer brush is normally nested on the um, brushes, so you can look for that. So all I'm going to do now is to just uh, paint on the skin. I'm just going to take my time and just paint it. All right, so that looks good right there and then over here. So all I'm doing is just apply the mixer brush to the skin. That's it nothing else and if you see if you notice i'm doing it in parts i'm doing the dark area and then the light area so i'm not mixing everything together I'm not doing the light area or the shaded area with the highlighted area i'm doing everything separate but i mean there are times you have to mix them but i mean you'll get it <laughs> All right, so I'm just doing the nose bridge there. Side of the nose is dark, so I'm just doing that dark part, separated from the highlighted area. Oh, her makeup is really good. Look at the skin. See, it looks natural. That looks really natural. So I'm gonna do that. I think I want to create a new um, layer for the neck. So I'm gonna show you the before and after right there. I think I want to do over here as well. All right, I'm gonna do the other one as well. Let's get my brush a little bit smaller. Use a bracket on your keyboard, the left and right bracket to get it bigger and smaller. I'm gonna do right here as well, and then right there. All right, so I am going to create a new. Let me just do. I'm gonna get the clone stamp. I'm gonna remove some of these right now. So clone stamp, get it smaller. Sample the area by holding on an Alt. And then I'm just gonna remove these little blemishes here from the skin that I missed when I was using the patch tool. All right, that works, good. Perfect. So the clone stamp works really good when I'm using the frequency separation action. So just go to the high layer and just remove the blemishes from the skin. I think I'm gonna create a new um, frequency separation um, layer now. So I'm gonna close this, go down to the background layer and then go up to the frequency separation. And then I'm gonna keep it at that radius. And then I'm gonna change the top one to face. I don't know why I type B. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use Control Shift and then the right bracket to bring it up. Good. And then I'm gonna go down to the low frequency layer now. Uh, why did I close this? open it back good and then low and then go back to the mixer brush and then I'm gonna do the neck and the shoulders so just up and down all right that so it's blending everything right now all right that looks good gonna do the arm I just love shooting natural light like I really don't need to use flash at times I don't I don't even remember what time of day that was maybe it's about four o'clock we didn't have a lot of Sun out and it was just perfect Sun's the Sun was actually behind the clouds I'm gonna do the arm here I think I might have to use the color correction for the shoulder so I'm gonna go to color correction and I'm gonna sample the color put this at about 1% for the flow and sample the color and then I'm going to paint just to match it a little bit because we have some dark areas right there. So it's going to match it a little bit. Oh, that's too bright, but I think you can just lower the um, opacity right there and just brush the remaining section. Mm. All right, just sample and do it again. That looks good. Let me look at the before and after real quick. So before, after. Let me zoom it up a little bit so you can see. That's the before and after. All right. So I think I may want to color this image now. So I'm gonna um, 
create a duplicate Control Alt Shift E and then create a copy you know what I'm not I'm not gonna create a copy I'm just gonna do a color right now I'm gonna do auto and see what it looks like auto looks good I'm gonna come over here to the collaboration and then play with the primary color and see what it looks like and that looks good don't need to I don't think I need to do anything more that's the before that's the after I'm gonna put them side to side and see what it looks like all right so wow it looks really good it's rich um, I think I want to play with the HSL option as well with the green uh, hmm. I think I like this this looks good ah uh, yes uh, I'm gonna play uh, okay this is good I think I want to add some blue to it and then I may add the, the um yeah I'm gonna add that right good gonna pull this down a little bit that looks good just a subtle it's nothing too much that looks good all right I think I want to create a duplicate though. I'm gonna crop the image a little bit more I'm gonna crop it so when I, I want to crop it closer so when I'm on Instagram I can maybe upload different versions so I like this crop so I'm gonna crop it like right there All right, and that's the four to five ratio as you can see up there. So this is one version, well, another version. So I'm gonna do another one. Create a copy, duplicate, move this back up here. And then I'm just going to crop it to right there. Just closer so you guys can see the detail when I upload it to Instagram. All right, that's good. Right there is fine, perfect. Her cheekbones, I just love it. All right, I think I wanna do one more. Should I do one more? Hmm. Uh, I don't think I wanna do one more. I think I might wanna do one more. I just wanna do four. And then that's it. Not gonna do any more after this. Just gonna do four images. I'm gonna crop in a little bit more to her face, like that. Move this over a little bit. That right there, right there. And then I'm gonna press enter and just crop it. So I have four images. So that is basically it for the image. I don't think I need to do any more coloring or anything like that. This is perfect. The skin looks rich. So we have three images. One, two, three, four images, not three. <laughs> So three images from the original. So I'm gonna save this for Instagram now. So file, export, where is export, where is export? Uh, right there, good. If, um, save for web, and then I'm gonna change this to 1080. 10, hey, hold on, 1080. Automatically the height is going to change, so we don't have to worry about the height. But the height is really 10, uh, 10, um, not 10, 1350. And all you do is to click save and then you're done. So if you learned anything from this uh, video, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and have a good one. I'm just gonna apply my um, logo here and I'm gonna save it to my Dropbox and then upload it to Instagram. So thank you guys for watching again and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel the wedding YouTube channel, also my personal channel. So thank you and bye-bye.